How much are the golf clubs? Um. Oh man. We haven't even been practicing your short game and that's getting good too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. nice. We've never been to this uh, flea market before. Definitely uh, coming back. Tom Watson Gap Wedge, Taylor made M2. Nice. Yep. Okay, Hello. Have any questions. How much are the golf clubs? Um. Okay. Okay. The golf clubs in this. Four dollars. Cool. You can do that. Tony Roma fan. <laughs> He's got all the Skechers commercials. You got two singles? Alright. Trade you. Thank, Thank you. you. Whoa. Start our flare farm. Yeah, I think that's more my speed. Oh, the guinea pigs? <laughs> it's cool. Definitely a different flea market than the one in Daytona. Yeah. The one in Daytona has a bunch of like uh, Alibaba kind of stuff. Yeah. I always get excited because there's like a kitchen store, but then it's, yeah, it's just not. Yeah, it's just super cheap stuff. Well, this is a fancy, this is like a Miami themed uh, <laughs> bag right here. Pink head covers. The Gentle Giant. Sweet name. Oh, oh, grail fine. Grail, grail, grail. Oh. Why are you so excited? I hate it goofy. I hate it goofy. What? Especially. Yup. Especially It's a dollar? Yeah. That's pretty That's cool. Not as intense as that. This is a holy grail find for us. <laughs> Easily. Is this guy's? You got I got a dollar bill. Is this yours? Okay. This yours? Oh, that's why I like, oh, no. oh, okay. <laughs> Hats are a dollar. Here you go. That one. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You were talking about the Pioneer Woman Instapot. I was like, what kind of girl? No. <laughs> Goofy bucket cap with a golf club. That is like. There, there's nothing better than that. That's literally the, the holy grail of bucket caps right there. <laughs> Got some more golf clubs, a Strata set. How's it going? Very good. How much are the golf clubs? I don't need a whole set. No. How much are the individual ones? Okay. How much are they? You got how many you want, man. The more you get, the more you get. All right. A what? Ben Hogan Putter. Alright, I think we got enough. What are you thinking? 15. 15? I'll give you 20. Thank you, man. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. The music in there was blasting. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but he wanted 15. I just gave him 20 because these clubs are pretty good. We got, I know those are the other ones that we got. Got a Callaway XR, Callaway Razor, a Score Wedge, a weird looking Mizuno, a King Pal 6 BQ. That is like, this, we've never been to this uh, flea market before. Definitely uh, coming back. And we got the Holy Grail Goofy hat. That is still the find of the day. This in the BQ putter. Killing it. Oh, floral Crocs. My size. Oh my. Guys, let me know what key, do you think I can pull these off? Yep, those might need to come home with us. Good, how are you? I'll do 15, yeah. You convinced me. Thank you. You too, thanks. Well, besides the bad karaoke music, this has been the best flea market of all time. You got a goofy, Crocs, a bunch of golf clubs. This is the best place ever. Oh, it's one of those uh, cylinder putters. Oh, oh nice. Is that last weekend? McClinney Original. Yeah, I don't remember when the last time we found one of those was. Had to have been last week. Yeah, you're right. 
Adam's idea, A3 hybrid. It's like cut down. See how much you want for the putter? Yeah. We have one of those little putt, putt, putt returns. Oh, okay. You like for the office. Mm -hmm. The people that have everything to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How much does you want for the this guy? Um, does that? Now that's just by itself, right? Yeah, these are these three are probably all together, and then these two are by themselves. Okay, and you don't need that one, right? Nah, just how much do you want uh, for that? I don't know what it's worth, honestly. I don't know what it, it's just cool looking. <laughs> I know that it would put a hell of a drive on a ball, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's actually a putter. Yeah. Um, <laughs> how about three bucks? Sounds good to me. All right. Got some kind of fancy name on there, so I don't know. Yeah, it it's an original, that's for sure. It says original. Okay. Well, it's originally yours, then. <laughs> yeah. You find something? Oh, Space Jam. <laughs> you do five for the putter in that. Excuse me? You do five for the putter in that. Cool. Sorry, I got distracted. So yeah. It was worth it. <laughs> Space Jam, uh, that's cool. Cool ping bag. Yeah, old school ping bag. Need a bag to carry all these clubs back to the car. <laughs> I wasn't expecting there to be that much stuff here. No. Remember the one guy at the St. Augustine flea market said he was coming over here, so I figured he was the only golf. Yeah. Oh, look at this little Cadillac bag. I, I think we turned around halfway through this. Side. <laughs> Is this your stuff? Two bucks? Cool. You can do that. Those are cheap ass bags and clubs over there. Oh, I gotta take a look at those. Another ping. <laughs> Sonar tech. How much do you want for the clubs? Uh, with the bag and all? Uh, Just yeah. 10 bucks, you have all of them. Can't beat that. Yeah. I mean, I'll throw that one in for five more if you want it. Oh, uh, no. We don't have a. Uh, person small enough for is that, that one. That is, like a junior or something? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I think that was... Uh, oh yeah, two and then... Yeah, so I think it was 12. Right? Eight, Thank you. All right, guys, made it out to the golf course. Excited to try all of this stuff out. That was one of the craziest uh, flea markets we've ever I been to. I was expecting to find any golf clubs, let alone that many. Yeah, usually when we go to a flea market, we might find one or two clubs, but it's just fun to walk around and see yeah. what people are selling. This one, we found a bunch of stuff. We couldn't even fit it all in this one bag. Full set of those tailor-made stuff. We'll show you everything that we found at the end, but we're going to play a little scramble right here, a little challenge. Four holes if we can shoot even par or better. What are we playing for? I think you should get to pick this time. Yeah, you've been picking a lot yeah. lately. You've had some good picks, though, <laughs> but I think some uh, somebody last time uh, said that we should get the Choco Taco. <laughs> nice. That might be the hardest thing to find though yeah. because they used to sell them at Taco Bell. It's like a chocolate taco. Yeah, maybe a gas station or gas something? Gas station. Yeah, we ended the video last time at a gas station. <laughs> so go. we'll probably do that again. But uh, first hole here is 300 yards. I'm uh, going with the TaylorMade R580. You going with the same? Going with the same. But the challenge, the real challenge, these clubs are good. That's not going to be the challenge. The real challenge, I am playing in the crops. <laughs> You good? I'm good. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be good. I might fall over or something like that, but 300 yards, let's see what we can do with the TaylorMade R580. That's the first time I ever think you've reached that yeah, bunker. That Your uh, awesome. Ashley's uh, sandbox on the uh, fourth hole is definitely... Coming for it. Yeah, we're, uh, it's in trouble for sure, <laughs> but uh, hit the like button for that. That might be Ashley's best drive of all time, yeah. but... We're just short of the green. I think we're gonna go with, uh, well, I'm going with the uh, Callaway XR approach wedge. And then just for fun, you can go with the Callaway Razor X approach wedge. <laughs> cool. Let's see if we can't get a quick start here with a birdie. Ooh, nice. Yeah, we just have to put it on the green for the world's greatest putter and use this goofy looking thing. Yeah, I'm intrigued, but kind of nervous about that one. <laughs> I'm uh, not nervous, I'm excited, but let's see if we can't get it up and down. Oh, that might actually take the break. Sit, ah, oh, just over. Got to uh, rely on my short game. That's never a good thing. <laughs> Roll. Get up there. <laughs> Looks uh, like I made it to the right tier. Yeah, we're on the right tier, but that wasn't very good. All right, probably the most interesting find of the day is that cylindrical uh, putter. Let's see what Ashley can do with it. Oh, that has a chance. Oh, a lip out. Well, 
get the speed down and it's a good putter. Let's take a quick look at this thing really quick. And got a guy in the uh, fairway. Can't take too much time, but what is it called again? Patent pending. We got the McNeely McNelly original. Sounds fancy. Let's see if we can make a putt with it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> What? Oh, two lip outs. <laughs> That's crazy. Alright. Guess we'll have to settle with the other oh, thing is right handed and left handed. That's interesting. Uh-huh. There we go. Par. Alright, even par through one. I have to say that putter looks really goofy, but actually feels pretty good. So. As goofy as my bucket cap. As goofy as your bucket the holy cap. Holy grail. Yeah. Your Mickey Mouse hat today is pretty good, yeah. but I had the holy grail fine. It is true. I am jealous though. Yeah. But Next hole is what, 100 yards? 100 yards, you're probably going with a gap wedge, the yeah. Tom Watson gap Go wedge. with the Tom Watson Adams gap wedge, and then what do you think, the M2 for you, the M2 4 iron? Yeah. All right, let's see who gets it closer. <laughs> I think with all the desserts we've been having, Ashley's on the uh, Bryson DeChambeau uh, diet. I think you hit that first drive probably like 15 yards yeah. longer than you have before. And then that one you hit over the green no, too. I wasn't so. expecting it. I just hit a full shot because I wasn't expecting it to go there. Yeah, you've <laughs> definitely picked up some uh, yardage for sure. But uh, I think we got about probably about 35 feet. We're going to go with the uh, Ping Pal 6 BQ. This thing's actually pretty rare and hard to find. To find it at a uh, flea market was pretty crazy. These things usually go for like 60 or 70, up to $100 depending on the condition, but definitely a good find for us. Let's see if we can make a birdie with it. Oh, that's good, that's good. Break back. Dang. <laughs> nice this spot. This is amazing. And she's gonna make it. Roll out, roll. Oh, so close. Cool. Man, those are two good lag putts for never having used that putter before. <laughs> Definitely a fan of the Ping Pal 6 BQ. All right, we can tap this in. Then we got the par five. Perfect. All right, definitely a good start, even par through two with some uh, about as different of putters as you can get. You got an old school classic in the uh, Ping Pal 6 and this goofy thing. Uh, we put it pretty good with both of them, so can't complain. Next hole is a par five, about 450 yards. I wanna see you hit that uh, R580 again. You crushed that. And then if you put that in the fairway, I'm just gonna try and rip one. We should be able to reach it in two. We got this uh, Sonar Tech three wood, an absolute classic. One of my favorite clubs growing up. Although I had it in way too stiff of a flex and I could just like duck hook one on command when I wasn't trying to. So that probably isn't really on command, but uh, <laughs> but uh, let's see what we can do. Hopefully put a couple on the fairway and have a good opportunity to reach it in two. Maybe our dog friend will be here again, but... Uh, hopefully help us, not hurt. Yeah. I don't know if he's going to be able to steal the show. I, I am wearing floral Crocs. <laughs> it's true. I should have wore the bucket cap, but we haven't washed it yet, but yeah. let's see what we can do here. Familiar spot. You flew that one further than normal. Yeah. yeah definitely progress. The uh, bunker is going to have to uh, watch out. I don't know what it is about the old school tailor-made drivers, but my uh, high school draw just seems to come back. The modern drivers, like they're just like too forgiving. I can't hit a draw. If I try to, I usually like block a little bit out to the right. So maybe I'll just switch to an old school one. My favorite uh, driver of all time is the tailor-made R510 TP. So pretty similar to that, but I think we got about 160 yards left. So the uh, three wood would definitely be too much club. I'll probably go with the uh, burner seven iron. And then what are you going with? You go with the sonar tech? Yeah, I'll do this over there. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. You are on fire today. That, that's too far. That's in the water, I think. So on fire, I need to go in the water. Yeah, you've been hitting it over. You gotta adjust your yardages to clubs you've never played before. <laughs> nice throw. Oh my, that is so high. Well, I've never seen John hit a ball that high, and we played with the Wedgwood last time, so that's definitely saying something. Yeah, the Wedgwood, I hit, uh, what? 50 yards over the green yeah, line. exactly. But uh, we think we got, this is about as far away as you could possibly get while yep. still being on the green, but it is for Eagle. <laughs> so we uh, might be going into yeah. Ashley's famous bunker hole, one under or two, Ooh. or counting our chickens ahead, ahead <laughs> exactly. of time. We might be going uh, still even par. Yeah, exactly. What putter do we want to go with? We got a bunch of goofy ones. There's like a Ben Hogan one, right? Yeah, this weird Mizuno Ooh, one that I've never seen before. One. And then a Ben Hogan putter yeah. too, old ben school Hogan. one. I'll go with the Mizuno, you go with the uh, the classy one, because cool. you're a classy lady. Aw, thank you. <laughs> that sounded so weird. Though. That was a really strange sound. Well, that's not terrible. <laughs> no. This thing is goofy though. It's got, it's like not a solid piece. It's got 
Probably know. the weird sound. Yeah. What are the what does ping call those things? The turbulators or they go like that? <laughs> yeah. Wonder what uh, technology name they gave this back in the day. Hmm. Marketing. It's always fun, especially the old stuff. It's just so goofy. Some of the stuff. <laughs> that, uh, yeah. Whatever. Rambling now, but let's see if I, Ashley's gonna put it closer, so we'll watch her do it. Go. <laughs> Perfect analysis right there. <laughs> Whoa, that thing's got a weird lie angle. Yes, it does. What is happening? <laughs> you gotta like stand directly <laughs> over it. It's very tiny too. <laughs> Skedaddle. Wow, you didn't really seem to hit it that hard, but it just rolled like perfectly. Maybe there's something to this. Yeah, guy. we got to compare that really quick to the uh, ping. Oh, yeah. yeah, to the, the ping. Size is crazy. Yeah, no, the, the, the oh, other yeah. one. The yeah. other ping. <laughs> the other ping. Look at the size difference in that. That's it's crazy. like twice as big. <laughs> I like both of them. Yeah, though. that's the weirdest thing. And we have like a round <laughs> putter. What a goofy day. <laughs> Oh, here's like <laughs> All right, one under going into Ashley's famous bunker hole, my favorite time of the video. And neither of us were going to uh, give in there. I thought mine was a little bit closer, so we just put it at the same time. I wish that counted as two birdies, but. Yeah, exactly. I think the vibration actually helped mine roll in. Yeah, yours like popped out and then like somehow came back in. We'll have to watch that in uh, slow motion or something like that. But Ashley's famous bunker hole here. The Taylor made R580. You've been crushing that today. Yeah. But also, we're gonna do a little bit of a giveaway because I just realized that we found this, one of these in the last video too. So we're gonna pass that on to one of you guys. Yeah. All you have to do is uh, like the video, be a subscriber, and then comment your favorite wedge brand. This one is a score wedge. This is what you could win. Yeah. I liked it the last time. It's got a really versatile sole. It's got a V sole. True form forge, bunch of marketing on there. Yeah, but it's actually marketing. a pretty good, yeah, <laughs> actually a pretty good wedge. So all you have to do is comment your favorite wedge brand, be a subscriber, and uh, hit the like button. And then hopefully Ashley can carry your bunker today. I think this is your best chance that you've had. Yeah. And we got a good little. The sun is blocked out. A lot of times we come in here like the shot tracers are in because it's like yeah, the sun. Yeah, we can barely even see. Yeah. It. <laughs> but perfect. This is a perfect setup. No wind. I'm excited. <laughs> today is the day. Today is the day. Good for direction. And I kind of rolled around it. Well, today wasn't my day, but I have to say I'm incredibly happy with my progress. Yeah, this is probably the best I've seen you hit the ball in a long yeah. time. So definitely excited. Our hard work on the range <laughs> is paying, paying off. Yeah, paying <laughs> off. And like, in all reality, this is like too long. The shaft is too yeah, stiff. Exactly. Like, you still so hit that the... I hit it at all is impressive yeah. to me. <laughs> I, speaking of hitting it at all, I went with the Ben Hogan uh, Apex Grind 2 iron, <laughs> and I just tried to flight it through a little gap in the trees. Went through the trees. Went through the wrong gap, but we went through <laughs> it, so that's all that matters. You should have a pretty easy up and down. Well, not really. It's over a bunker and everything, but we're one under, so I'm, yeah, exactly. I'm just going for it. <laughs> oh, and forgot to pick up my ball. Yeah, oh my <laughs> okay. just walked right by. It was parallel with the bunker, though. Yeah, you're dead even with the bunker. Yeah. Next time. Next time. Got a game yeah, like. Yeah, with your driver. <laughs> exactly. Oh man, I kind of short sighted ourselves. It went too far. Oh really? well, we'll get it up and down. Well, probably as uh, tricky of an up and down as we could possibly have on this all. Now that I think about it, we got to go over that bunker and then the pin's right on a little ledge right there. Nothing for uh, nothing for Ashley though, the way she's playing today. Oh man. We haven't even been practicing your short game and that's getting good too. Yeah, exactly. Nice shot. I don't think I'm gonna be able to uh, get it inside of that. Also, sorry to whoever wins this uh, wedge. I gotta use it right now, but. Uh, one last time. One last time. We'll, we'll show you how, how good it could be in a not good person's hand. <laughs> that sounded weird. We'll go like, with where it are you though. Going with where am I? I don't know where I was going with it. Sit. Yours is closer. No, I think yours is closer. Uh, mine went over, I think. Not really. I think you're on the green. I guess we'll see. We'll see. I'm a little bit taller. I can see over it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All right, guys, comment below if you think this is on the green. You will get an extra entry into winning that wedge if you agree with me. It's clearly not on the green, but you will get an extra entry if you it agree with on me. The green. There's the fringe, there's the ball. See, these are the things that we argue about in life. <laughs> yeah. Is that on the green? Well, there's like a weird, you can't see it though. They cut it weird. But Ashley is right. Just because they cut it weird doesn't mean it's not the green. That's it's true. Green. I am wrong. Ashley is right. <laughs> Just like everything in life, your wife is always right. But uh, let's see what we can do here. Ashley's is closer. That's the main yeah. important thing. You got the old school ping answer yep. with the sound slot. Guess I should show you the pin too. There we go. Go. We'll see how it breaks yeah. <laughs> Good for pace. I'm going with our like <laughs> cylindrical, whatever this thing is called, cylinder putter again. Yeah. No. 
No. <laughs> With the cylinder putter. Nice putt. Nice. Uh, All right, now our quest begins. Yeah, now the hard part. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you thought finding a goofy bucket cap was awesome. Yeah. Now we have to go and find a Choco Taco. We'll meet you when we find it. Yeah, this is going to be like maybe a next day kind of thing. <laughs> exactly. Two under, that's almost uh, our record. Three under with my dad. Yeah, we're, we're getting ready for your dad. Yeah, we're getting ready for my dad for his uh, shoot his age challenge. Well, I guess we're not playing then, but we're still moral support. Moral support, yeah, we'll be there. I, I couldn't caddy for him. I'll be too nervous. Yeah, exactly. All right, we'll meet you at Choco Taco. <laughs> All right, guys, five gas stations later and they had one at Winn-Dixie. Yeah, exactly. A whole yeah. box, actually, so we got a bunch of Choco yeah. Tacos. Yeah, ironically, back at a gas yeah. station. Yeah, <laughs> we're back at a gas station because it's the only place with light out. In front of Winn-Dixie. Yeah. What do we got? Oh, there we go. Let's get a little uh, before and after. Choco Taco. There's ice cream in there. Yep. Let's give it a go. Good? Very good. All right, I got to get a bite of this. People keep on complaining that you don't, like, see me eating it. All you do is hear it. So oh, it's creepy um... sounding. Ready? <laughs> I get both. That is delicious. That might be the best treat that we've had so far. All right, guys. Hopefully you liked it. The... Well, turn around. Oh, there we go. All right, guys. Hopefully you liked today's video. Lots of cool stuff yeah. at the flea market. Oh, it's just hurting my teeth. <laughs> very cold. Yeah, very cold. It's like a frozen treat. Crazy. Yeah, but hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe. And don't forget to enter in the giveaway. And we'll see you next time. Yeah, you get two votes if I was correct. If that ball was on the green. <laughs>